Hello everyone, um, this is uh, this is Zach from Forgotten Gamers and today we're doing something a little different. This is a game called Stone Soup and uh, shout out to uh, Tara Taggart for getting me to to download this little gem and uh, this is a this is a very interesting little um, well it's it's a dungeon crawler but it's all tile based which is uh, well, it's different to say the very least. So, oh shit, I don't wanna. No, I don't wanna do this. Oh, how can I fucking start a new game here? All right, well, fuck it. We'll we'll fuck around as my little troll here. So basically, what you do in this game is, uh, well, it's lagging out a bit. Um, what you do in this? Why is it lagging so goddamn much? Fuck off, game. Jesus. What you do is you run around this dungeon, uh, and you explore the map, you you find shit, you fuck it up, and you level up, and then you die. That's uh, that's stone soup. That's what that's what happens. Um, it's a very ridiculous and sort of over the top dungeon crawler. Oh, we got a fucking snake here. But um, no, you, you you can die in some really stupid ways, but it's it's ridiculously in depth. Like uh, for instance, right now I am. Uh, you can see it says Ashmeth the Ruffian. Thank <laughs> you. Fuck Christ. Um, and it says uh, Troll of Trog. So my race is is Troll. My name is Ashmeth. Shout out to Magic Gathering. Um, and my god is Trog. And he's a troglodyte, and he glorifies in the deaths of others. So now, some of the classes when you start off, they actually come with religions. Oh, fucking shit up as a fucking troll. But um, some of, some of them don't. And in that case, what you would do is you would explore the dungeon until you find find an altar. And they're 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 not. Like, well, shit! I starved to death. What? <sighs> well, fuck. All right. So, yeah, that's this is what I'm talking about. Uh, you can. That was stupid. Let's, let's go with a. Uh, let's try something dumb. Like a fucking. Hmm. What are these things called? Though? It's a cat. I'm gonna be a fucking cat berserker. Oh yeah. All right. Now there's some shit on the go. I'm a cat. Yeah. All right. Let's fuck shit up with a cat. Wow. They're they're stealthy as shit. That was a um, that was a uh, it was a newt. So I just it was it was sleeping and my cat snuck up on it and fucking wrecked its day. I'm gonna assume that because I'm a cat I can't even pick up strawberries. Well, fuck! I'm gonna starve to death. You you can pick up gold, but you can't pick up strawberries. What use does a cat have for gold that it wouldn't have for fucking strawberries? God damn it! Well, alright. Whoa. Can it wear cloaks? It can pick up fucking gold. Can it wear a cloak? No. Can't wear a cloak. Alright. Fucking Stone Soup. So yeah, if you're wondering about the title, uh, Stone Soup is a Brothers Grimm style of um, a fairy tale. Um, I've, I've never read them, I've, I've never seen anything from Stone Soup, but it's got that that sort of vibe, like the Aesop, or Aesop, however it's pronounced, and the... Um, yeah, that, that whole thing. See, that's a really cool helmet. I don't find shit like that. It's a plumed helmet. Fucking faggotry. Anyway. Moving on. But there, there's no real rhyme or reason or right or wrong way to play this game. It's, um... It's just a lot of fucking fun to just see how... What the fuck just happened? To see, like, all the different ways you can die and the different ways you can explore the dungeon. <laughs> And you see, like, there's there's all these, like, different commands over here on the side. Like, you got heal and search. Like, that's <laughs> pretty much the only one I use except for, like, save and exit. But, um, also, this game, you, you cannot, you, you can't save it. You can save and exit, but when you come back in, you're, you have to work on the file that you were, you were just using. But, like, you can't, 
save your game and then when you die load that save game that will not happen it does not work like that so um, the point of the game is to find what's called the orb of Zot I do not know anyone who has ever accomplished that uh, I've reached level 2 okay. I'm a level 2 cat fucking up goblins it's a little feelid This cat is fucking... Oh, he's just fucking shit right up. This cat is amazing. This this cat is like my cat that I used to have when I uh, when I used to live in Virgin Arm. Actually, that, that cat's name was Tabby. And he's become a little bit of a, a thing of myth. In Whoa, there's a lot of animals. But yeah, he became a bit of a thing of myth in, in Virgin Arm. Um... He's just a regular great uh, Tabby Tomcat. We got him when he was a kitten. He was just a little tiny thing, right? I mean, he's a fucking cat. They're not big anyways, but... He started off, well, you know, normal enough. But as he started getting older, I don't know, we, we noticed that he used to do some pretty fucked up shit. Like, we'd hear him down in the basement fucking screaming. Like, shrieking. Shrieking like a banshee. And it was, it was creepy, and I remember one day he came back and his tail had a hole through it, and it would twitch violently and incessantly 24-7. And another day he came back, he had his chest ripped open, and his fucking ear was, uh, half his ear was missing, one of his eyes was bleeding out, and he ended up being blind in that eye. And um, he ended up like breaking his paws and shit. But turns out that his chest and his ear was ripped off because he got into a fight with a dog and fucking killed it. That's right. I don't mean like a little Pomeranian. Like a fucking a tree could kill a fucking Pomeranian for Christ's sake. Well, a tree could fuck a lot of shit up and fell on it, but nonetheless yeah this cat came in and it fucking killed a dog like this this thing is the uh, the chupacabra of virgin arm so if you, if you ever hear of a cat named tabby in virgin arm a gray tomcat keep the fuck away man that cat will fuck your shit up he will push your shit in I guarantee you and this cat even though it says ashmouth in ashmouth the ducker okay this cat is now known as Tabby, the Chupacabra of Virgin Arm. You cried in Dark Hole, don't have to worry, don't worry about that. You guys are alright. And for anyone else who might be watching this video and wondering what the fuck I'm talking about, don't worry. It, it doesn't matter if you don't understand, trust me. There's no inside joke going on here. I think I figured it was lagging so much. I think it's because of the fucking the frame rates of my uh, my recording software here. It's kind of shitty. Like seriously, of all the games I've played on this, using the same recording software, this is the game that decides to run really laggy. It makes no sense to me, but no problem. You can do it right. I I don't want to come back here. I don't even want to look at that goddamn strawberry. I can't even pick it up. I'm a fucking cat. Like I'm carrying fucking. Four potions, two scrolls, a cloak, and two pieces of meat. But he won't pick up a strawberry. That's fucked up. That is some fucking bullshit. Let's see what these potions do. Okay, so it restores abilities. The potion of agility. And what does that one do? And a potion of curing. Cool. Let's find out what scrolls do. Alright. That was a potion of identify. Ain't gonna do me much good because cat, cats can't use armor or weapons. And we got a scroll of magic mapping, which is kind of useless because I just finished discovering everything on the map. That's cool. Nonetheless, let's go to the next floor. So, but yeah, this this game, like uh, some people think that it's one of those never-ending games where it's just a, a, an endless stream of, uh, of dungeons, but no, that's not true, because the point of this game is to find and take the, uh, or, uh, sorry, the Orb of Zot to the surface, and that's how you win the game. Um, apparently, the only, like, the best player in the world at this game has only beat it, like, like, cleared it out and retrieved the Orb of Zot, like, seven times or something, so... For anyone who's a gamer, you know, that's 
when you, anyone who beats a game seven times, you know, that's pretty impressive. Like, they, they've obviously played the game a good deal, right? But you guys haven't seen this game. This is fucked. The fuck just happened? You know what? Fucking teleported. God damn. Fucking. Ah. Uh, that was a, an, an altar of Zom. And Zom is a very strange god. See? And he's probably surrounded by fucking teleport traps. Oh, there's a giant newt. Come here, fucker. Okay, so... Oh! He, my cat got there somehow. Alright. So, let's pray to Zom. He's, he's just a wild and unpredictable god. He just does really strange shit to you. Very unpredictably. Oh. Oh, shit. I was following a god already. Oh, oh. That's bad. That's really bad. Not good stuff. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, so that's another thing. That's that's another um, sort of example of how the depth in this game works. Okay, so my cat can now wear rings as well. All right, whatever. Anyway, um, if you already have a religion and you opt out of that religion and take a new one, chances are you're gonna piss off your god. And I just pissed off one of the meaner gods, one of the ones that savor in the deaths of others. So, I'm probably pretty fucked. And I'm hungry. And I can't fucking pick up strawberries. I'll kill a rat. Why didn't you eat it, you dumb cat? You ain't Tabby. Tabby would have fucking ate that rat. Come here, you fucking goblin. If I find out this fucking cat can eat a goblin, but not a rat, my god, he can. I'm, oh, shit. God damn. Alright, I'm gonna drop it here real quick. So yeah, there, there's like a, a bunch of keys and like, uh, or sorry, hot keys and stuff that you you don't need to memorize or anything like that. But it, it really helps to know. Them. Like C, if you stand over a chunk of flesh, like C, you can uh, you can butcher it, and then you can eat it. So there is something wrong with this meat. Now my cat is nauseous. Aren't all cats nauseous? Anyway, moving on. All right. Uh, I forget what I was saying. Oh yeah, if you piss a god off, chances are they're gonna send something after you to sort of like exact revenge of, uh, or well, sort of, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, but they they don't they don't take it too well if you betray betray them. So, and I was under Trog, and that's bad because he favors in the deaths of others. However, I am under Zom. Which is probably not a good thing. He ain't going to protect me from the wrath of Trog. It's a fucking work. Okay, that was a weird door. All right, but um, no, like if if it were like your your Delum Newell or, or or someone like that, it would be bad because it, that happened to me once before. Actually, when I was playing this game, um, I I left his religion and went with Maklib or something, and your Delum Newell sent a fucking reaper after me and it ruined my day completely ruined my day alright so I've been playing this too long I just figured I'd give you guys a rundown of uh, of stone soup and everyone should play this game it is it looks it looks so stupid believe me I know that this game looks ludicrously stupid and dumb to every single one of you but it is an absolute blast. It's super, super, super addictive, and it's it's free to play. You don't need to play pay any money. Sorry to uh, to download and play this game, and it's it's just such a fucking cool way to pass away, like a, an hour or, or more. I mean, it depends on how into it you get. Like in my instance, I mean, I fucking love this game. It's it's fun. It's not fast paced at all. There's there's no the graphic or the graphics in it. Sorry, are garbage. But it's just fun. I mean, I'm a fucking cat, and I'm very hungry, and now I'm poisoned, and I just killed a snake, and my dodging skill went up to five. I'm a cat. I'm a goddamn cat. 
And I'm, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm under a god named Zom who has a tendency to fuck with me. But come on. Can you not love this shit? I try not to start with here. Uh, oh. There we go. Okay. So yeah, like, if, if, if you're poisoned or confused or contaminated, whatever kind of status effect you might be suffering from, if you, um, if you use this little option down here, heal and search a bit. It will take, I think it's a hundred turns or something. Spend a hundred, yeah, spend up to one hundred turns for regenerating health, recharging magic, and or searching. And like if a hostile monster comes into view, you can see it says that it'll be interrupted and you have to fight the monster and then, etc, etc, right? But, <clears throat> what am I, where should I go here? I'll try this one. What was I saying? Oh, fuck it. I don't remember what I was saying. Uh, but, yeah, nonetheless, I'm a cat, and I'm fucking shit up, I'm at Dungeon 3, which is, uh, it's not great, it's subpar at best, I just got an extra life, so that means, I'm guessing that means if I get killed, just check my mutations here, okay, uh, cannot wear armor incapable of any advanced item manipulation, I don't really know what that means, your paws have sharp claws, you have razor sharp teeth, you have supernaturally acute eyesight, you're carnivorous and can eat meat at any time. You cover ground quickly. You're covered in fur. Uh, okay, so that means my armor count is plus one, and I have a slow metabolism. So I'm guessing that that means I don't get hungry very quickly. Cool. Let's look at that ring. See what's all about. Oh, large brass ring. I don't know what it does. All right, so I can. See if I get shit. Your paws briefly gain a good what? Dude, I just enchanted my claws. Can I check and see in which what way I fucking enchanted them? Weird. My strength is at 14. That's actually fairly phenomenal. That's a pretty high count. Plus my fucking cat. My dexterity is really high. My armor count is shit. Um my magic ain't bad, my health is okay. God damn, I might I might use this fucking little guy a little more often. Fucking awesome. And next time I'm gonna name him Tabby. Some of you who know me are probably wondering, well, why don't you name him Banjo? Well, because Banjo's a fucking pussy. No pun intended. But he is far oh my Christ. Okay, this might be the end of the cat. No fuck no! See this cat is a badass. Hell yeah. I need a scroll to identify though, so I can figure out what these rings are doing. I really don't know what they're doing. I know I just enchanted my claws. But I don't know if I can, or how I would go about checking and seeing what the enchantment did. But yeah, you can, you can either use your mouse or your arrow keys to navigate. If you want to move diagonally, you can use the, um, like the arrow keys by the, the number pad. What the fuck is that? Elven Falchion. Then I'm cat. Whew. Ah, see? That's what happens when it lags. You just fucking shoot. So I gotta, I gotta be kinda tapping. What the fuck just happened? You've grown too confident for your meager worth. Your body is racked with pain. You are now a special plaything of zone. What? What the fuck? Why? He's gonna fuck with me every chance he gets now. That's bad. So Zom is gonna fuck with me. Alright, so this shit's gonna get interesting. What the fuck is this shit? That's a fucking gnome. Am I about to be attacked by- Ah! What are you doing? I'm a cat! Fuck off, you asshole! Where'd the gnome go? Oh my god! Where am I? Why did that happen? My god, Zon was actually fucking- What? Oh no! He's fucking with me! Man, he just teleported me all the way- Jesus, fuck off! 
where it stops. Nobody know. I just want to. <laughs> Fucking god damn it! Stop teleporting me. God damn it, man. All right. I think he's actually gonna stop fucking with me now. And news is nearby. Fuck off, news. Trying to heal. I'm a cat, not a fucking warrior. Oh man, that was fucking awful. So Zom is fucking with me. Any minute now, Trog is gonna send some fucking gigantic beast to come and just ruin my day. Oh man. Let's go. Let's go down. <coughs> oh, it actually like it, it doesn't it doesn't really lag out at all if I use the uh, if I use the mouse to navigate as opposed to the arrow keys. All right, so let's keep doing that. It doesn't really make sense to me, but okay. <coughs> Need some fucking water. But yeah, um, Tyler was saying that there actually is like a multiplayer for this but it sucks I wouldn't mind giving it a whirl just to see you know what it's all about and how it plays and whatnot it's probably gay as fuck like I don't see how <clears throat> a multiplayer can be supported by this kind of game well Jesus there's all kinds of goodies in there I wish I could oh boy this does not bode well for pussycat No, oh, pussycat doing fine. Alright. Hey, Zom, you want to teleport me inside the fucking little place here? Lots of goodies. Name, I just want the shit on the left side. Not the armor. Useless to me. Goddamn. Great. Oh well. What can you do when you're a cat? Let's go over here. Maybe you don't know how to get there. Shut up. What are you talking about, even? Go well, there, then. Jesus. Asshole. A rat comes into view? Where? Is a rat? Huh. Oh. Okay. You see, that's another shrine. That's a shrine of the Shining One. But, I, I already have one god pissed off with me, and it's only a matter of time until Trog sends something devastating my way, so... I'm gonna try not to piss off Zom. That just seems like a horrible idea. He's already fucked with me belligerently enough, so I'm just gonna fucking go on my uh, my kitty way here. What's this do? Potion of slowing. Of course, Zom is amused. So it seems to me. What the fuck is that thing? It's a fucking little fucking troll or a gnome or something what and the mushroom disappeared oh. alright so it seems to me that if I fuck myself over somehow Zom finds it amusing therefore if something hmm yeah something stupid like that happens you can see down here it says Zom thinks this is hilarious so chances are he's probably pretty pleased with me because I'm a fucking terrible player at this so we'll pray to him and say I'm watching you my prodigal child that's comforting Matt oh there's an area I haven't been to yet probably not much of it but well we'll check it out just in case not a goddamn thing alright let's go back to the escape edge now, here's the thing about escape hatches. Sometimes they will drop you down one floor, and they could just be fucked up and drop you down seven floors. You don't know where you're going to end up. I've never dropped down seven floors. That would be terrifying. But, okay, so we'll drop you down one floor. That's fine. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so that worm had the potential to ruin my day, but luckily I'm a kid. And I have an extra life right now. Let's check my mutations and see. It doesn't say anything about having an extra life. I don't know if you can uh, if you can check that divine or innate ability. What's that all about? Oh no! I don't really understand that. 
What's that? Pray to your God. Search for items. Reread re 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 recent messages. Stupidly constructed phrase. Display dungeon over map. Display religious status. Favor. A toy of Zom. I am a toy. Okay. Well, I'm a cat. No. Manage skills. What do you mean manage skills? Ooh. What's this all about? What? Really don't understand what's going on here. So we'll get rid of that. Keep that. Get rid of that too. Keep stealth, dodging, unarmed, and fight. Oh! That's fantastic! My shit will go up faster this way, I guess. Cool, I wonder if Tyler knows about that, probably. Modify the player title? Oh shit! Oh yeah. Alright, let's be fucking. Uh, let's go with this guy. Can we not? So let me go here. Wait, oh. So there's lots of felines to choose from. Look at this guy. He just pissed the fuck off. That looks so much like Banjo. Let's go with the fucking pissy little bitch. Look at this guy. Fucking crazy. Custom doll. Alright. Okay. Now we're in business. Now I'm just a pissed off kitty. There we go. That's the kind of shit I've been looking for. Oh, apparently I, I, uh, I have one too. That's fine. Let's see what that's all about. That is a ring of protection from magic. That's probably pretty good to have as a cat. And what's this all about? An uncursed ring of poison resistance. Cool. Oh shit. Well, we'll keep that one equipped for now. Maybe one of these, if I'm lucky, is a scroll of remove curse. Apparently. Uh. Oh. Okay. That was. Oh yeah. Ring of ice. Um. Let me equip the ring of ice. We'll keep that on, cause poison's a little bit of an issue. Scroll of teleportation could come in handy. In a pinch, get another scroll of identify. Fucking handy. Yeah. Alright. Why? Right. You're talking about Zom almost notices you. You feel a strange surge of energy. That. That kind of, kind of bothers me. Alright. <laughs> Almost notices me. I don't Whoa. We got orcs. Up. Uh, God damn it, that fucking faggot. He fucking killed me, you asshole. I was a kid. Fucking. You rejoined the land of the lip. What? Oh, yeah, I. Where the fuck? Alright, so... Okay, I didn't die, alright. I guess because I had the extra lives. Well... God damn it, the cocksucker followed me. What the fuck? Invokes the aid of Bilg against you? What is he fucking? Who is Bilg? Is there a possibility? Oh my god, I actually beat the fucker. That's amazing. This cat is the cat of cats. Oh shit. Now there's another one of these apples. Oh, coming at me. Alright. Oh. Oh, farting and shit. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Cool. Oh, now I'm confused. Oh, not anymore. Confused cat's bad. 
Bad to be a confused kitty. Toadstool Grove. Sam's attention turns to you for a moment. You feel a surge of energy from the ground. It was, ah! God damn it! You fucking teleported me again. Is that an iguana? That sounds bad. Alright, fucker. Yeah. Your traps and door skill increases to level one. You feel clever. Cool. Alright. Gotta heal up a little bit more here. Alright, I'm gonna kill Cobbled. Come here, fucker. Jesus. How stupid would that have been if I ended up fucking killing a Cobbled? And then... I'm gonna eat this Iguana corpse, but I forgot to fucking butcher it. To be killed by a Cobbled after facing down a fucking Orc Wizard. That would have sucked. Where is it? The fuck is it? I just, oh, okay. Here we go. We got some uh, some iguana fish. I'm gonna heal up a bit here. Cool. Oh, what's going on? There we go. All right. That. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, that's a problem. That's bad. That's bad for kitty. Bad for cat. Bad. Centaur's bad. Worms also. For oh, fuck. Kitty gonna die. Kitty dies. Oh, fucker! He revived me again. Oh, he didn't revive me that time though. Okay, that's fine. I don't do. That was among my ten best runs in Stone Soup, and I was a goddamn cat. Slain by a centaur. I've been slain by stupider shit, as like fucking demon spawns and and draconium warriors and shit. Like right, like you see right here. I was. Uh, I don't even know what the fuck I was there. Uh, SE. What's SE? I don't know what that would be, but it was some kind of assassin. SE. Oh, Sludge Elf. I was killed by Terrence. Like, that, that's that's far from threatening, but this time I was killed by a centaur, so I was a cat. And I did very well. I got to fucking level 4 of the dungeon. Not my best run, but goddamn. Well. So, yeah, that's, um. That's Stone Soup, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and feel free to check it out. I just did a Google search for Stone Soup, uh, clicked the first link, and downloaded it, and I've been playing it ever since. It's an absolute blast. Like I said, it looks like shit, and you know what? It's 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 the most pointless game that I've ever endeavored to play, but it's just so much fun. It's so addictive. Uh, definitely, just check it out, even for five minutes, and see how you like it, because it is a really, really cool game. But uh, anyways, take care, guys, and...